Hey blog watchers, Steve Petrusky here with the Lander team and the Heritage Group. I am excited today to introduce you to one of my friends, Don Summers, who's the owner of Arizona Summers Cooling and Heating. And we are here at a property in Kingman and Don is going to give us some tips on how to provide maintenance for your furnace and also your AC unit. So let's go check him out and see what he has to say. Come on inside. Hey, how you doing? This is Don with Arizona Summer Cooling and Heating. So I take some time today and give a couple tips and some importance on why it is necessary to maintain your heating equipment and make sure everything's safe and operational for the winter season. What we have here today is a gas furnace, basic upflow furnace in a closet, similar to what people have in the attic. Um, it's more of a horizontal airflow, but still the same design and concept. When dealing with gas heating, you have main components, of course, that take care of everything as needed for the full cycle of the system and to heat the home. But it really comes down to a few main things. Number one, cleanliness and safety would both be key facts. Um, when it comes to the filter, we always get eyes on the filter and get that changed out. Reduced airflow greatly increases the runtime of the equipment and shortens the life of your equipment quite frankly because it's working harder so we always recommend a good pleated filter to catch any dust and debris that's in the air before it enters your system also few key components that we always check is the flame sensor down here that actually senses the flame and if it's corroded for any reason your furnace isn't going to work and then you're calling because you have no heat we also check the gas pressure and the gas valve to make sure you're not wasting money, quite frankly. Too much gas, unit burns too hot, short run times, and we use too much fuel. So we definitely don't want to spend more money than we have to at any point in time. Some more key facts when it comes down to your heating system is how you get rid of the burnt gas out of the home. And it all goes out through the flue pipe. It's very important that this is in good condition, everything's sealed, it's not rusty or falling apart, because quite frankly it is a health hazard and that's how people get poisoned in their home when they're running their gas heating. So it's always important to check for carbon monoxide in the house. Another thing that people may not realize is their air conditioning does have some to do with the heating system. On the other side of this panel here is my refrigerant lines going into my indoor coil or what we call the evaporative coil for the AC. If that coil is blocked for any reason, it's also blocking my hot air from getting into the home because my air passes through the same components. So it's important to get eyes on that and make sure we have no restrictions, again, causing us long run time and high utility bills. So those were some good tips on your heating system. Now let's go outside and take a look at the air conditioner. Hey everyone, now that we covered the heating, let's talk about the air conditioning system. Now quite frankly, there's not as many moving parts on the AC side of things as there is on the heating with the condenser outside anyway. Few major components we have is our condenser fan motor inside here that pulls the air through our coil out the top of the unit. Probably the most common failure is what we call a capacitor. This part actually helps the, the motor and the compressor start and run consistently. Without this, you will not have any air conditioning. And quite frankly, this is the number one part that breaks down through the course of the summer. Another key component is the contactor, which actually closes and then sends power to our compressor. If any of these components are not within their manufactured ratings, they can definitely cause problem to your equipment, high utility bills, and most likely it's gonna break down in the 4th of July. Cleanliness is also huge when it comes to air conditioning. Having good space around this outdoor unit so we can get airflow in through this coil um, is how we basically transfer heat from your home. So cleanliness is one of the most important things with any heating or cooling system. When we complete a normal maintenance, one of the last things we do is just simply rinse out the outdoor unit to get any dust and dirt out of the way with a simple garden hose is really all that it takes. 
Um, don't try it on your own. There is electrical components in here and safety is always number one. Again, this is Don with Arizona Summers Cooling and Heating. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions or concerns. Remember, our number one priority is to reduce your heating and cooling burden. That's simply what we do. Call us anytime, 928-692-4447, or click the link below to hit us up on our website. Thanks and have a great day. On behalf of the Lander team and the Heritage Group, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!